convergence the Cauchy criteria. The definition for the uniform convergence a sequence Fn converges uniformly to a function f on a set E if for every epsilon positive for every epsilon positive there exists a positive integer n that depends upon epsilon only but not on the point x which is belonging to E right this is your set E and there is a point x in E so this positive integer n depends only on epsilon but not on this point that belongs to E such that for all x belonging to E it is happening for every point that belongs to E what holds that mod of f n x minus f of x is strictly less than epsilon for n greater than equal to that positive integer n which is depending upon epsilon not on the point x so this is the definition for the uniform convergence so let me write this in words now a sequence fn is set to converge uniformly on a set e to a function f if for every epsilon positive there exists a positive integer n depending upon epsilon and independent of x such that for all x belonging to E mod of f n x minus f of x this is strictly less than epsilon for n greater than equal to capital N. Please mark this as 1. Now what is the difference between uniform convergence and convergence? In uniform convergence we have studied that for every epsilon positive there exists an integer n that depends upon epsilon and independent of x such that this one holds. But in case of convergence what is the difference? For every epsilon positive there exists a positive integer n that depends upon epsilon and also on the point. The positive integer depends upon epsilon and also at the point, right? Such that this one holds. This is the difference between convergence and uniform convergence. So this is your set E and this is a point X belonging to E. So the difference between two is only that for convergence, same definition, but the difference is that for every epsilon positive, there exists a positive integer n. First condition depends upon epsilon. Second condition also depends upon the point belonging to the set. That is x which is belonging to the set E. Such that one holds. right and for the uniform convergence we have for every epsilon positive there exists a positive integer n that depends upon epsilon but it is independent on the point belonging to the set E independent of the point x belonging to e such that one holds fine easy easy to understand all right so what can be the note for this that uniform convergence implies convergence yes uniform convergence implies convergence but not vice versa However, non-convergence implies non-uniform convergence. Yes? Right? Okay. The another definition for the series of functions. The series of functions summation fn 
where n goes from 1 to infinity, is said to converge uniformly on E if the sequence Sn converges uniformly on E, where the sequence Sn is your finite series of functions. This is your infinite series. Sn is sum of the finite series f1 plus f2 plus f3 up to so on up to fn, the finite series, the finite sum of series. Or you can also say the sum of the nth partial sum, right? Okay. Now let's move on to the theorem for Cauchy's criterion for uniform convergence. And the theorem states that the sequence of functions fn defined on E converges uniformly on E if and only if. For every epsilon positive, there exists a positive integer n depending on epsilon only such that for all x belonging to E, mod of fnx minus fmx is strictly less than epsilon for m n greater than equal to n. This is a Cauchy's criterion for uniform convergence. So this is a two-way proof. First, if the sequence of functions converges uniformly on E, this is given, we have to show this thing that mod of fnx minus fmx is strictly less than epsilon and then also we have to prove the other way. So first let's suppose that the sequence fn converges uniformly on E, right? Okay, let's start. Suppose the sequence fn defined on E, the set E, converges uniformly on E to F. So the sequence Fn is converging uniformly to F, right? So let's apply the definition for this. Then, what is the definition? We have studied that for every epsilon positive, there exists a positive integer n depending upon epsilon only such that for all x belonging to E, mod of fnx minus f of x is strictly less than, let's say, epsilon divided by 2. We need this for n greater than or equal to n. Therefore, all right, what is needed to prove? We have to prove that mod of fnx minus fmx should be strictly less than epsilon for m n greater than or equal to n. This we need to prove. So let's consider this. So the mod of fnx minus fmx. Can I write this equal to, because I need to use this, so let me add and subtract fx in this mod. So fnx, I'm adding and subtracting fx. Right? And this mod is further less than equal to mod of fnx. Let me separate these terms. Plus mod of fx minus fmx. Is it fine? Right? Okay. Now, mod of fnx minus fx is strictly less than epsilon by 2 for n greater than or equal to n. So, for this, we write it is strictly less than epsilon by 2. Similarly, we can consider the mod of f mx minus fx is strictly less than epsilon by 2 for m greater than or equal to n. Right? So, for that also, I write it is strictly less than epsilon by 2. For m n greater than equal to n right okay please note that you can also write this mod as fx minus fmx equal to mod of fmx minus fx it is one and the same thing because it is under the mod okay so this is equal to epsilon by 2 plus epsilon by 2 is epsilon so what we get that thus mod of fmx minus fnx, this is strictly less than epsilon, 
for m n greater than equal to n. Hence proved. First part is done. Right? Okay. Let's move on to the converse. Conversely, suppose for every epsilon positive, there exists a positive integer n depending on epsilon only such that this thing holds. So suppose the second part is given to us and we have to prove that the sequence of functions fn which is defined on e converges uniformly on e. So that is if this is given to you that mod of fmx minus fnx is strictly less than epsilon for mn greater than equal to n we have to reach that mod of fnx minus f of x strictly less than epsilon for n greater than equal to n which is the definition for the uniform convergence right okay so conversely suppose for every epsilon positive there exists a positive integer n such that for all x belonging to E, mod of fmx minus fnx is strictly less than epsilon for m n greater than equal to n. Now, as fmx is a Cauchy sequence, So it converges to some function, let's say f, right? So this means as fmx is a Cauchy sequence, that is, limit m tends to infinity, fmx is equal to fx. Let us mark this as 1. Because we need to use this result in 1, what we have to do is, we have to fix n and let m tends to infinity, right? So, Fixing n and letting m tends to infinity in 1. Then what we get? We fix n over here and let m is tending to infinity. Right? So we write fx in place of fmx in the next step. So, fixing n and letting n tends to infinity in 1, what we get? We get mod of fnx as it is minus instead of fmx, we write fx because fmx is a Cauchy sequence and it is converging to fx when we put n tends to infinity limit in 1. So, this mod is strictly less than now epsilon for n greater than equal to n. Also, we have to write for all x belonging to E. So, this is nothing but the definition for the uniform convergence. So, hence, the sequence fn converges uniformly on e to f hence the converse is also proved all right thank you stay blessed